What's up guys, it's Daryl with All The Dreams. Welcome back. Hey, it's that time of year again. Although it's a cold, rainy day in Houston, the show must go on. And what show is that? That's the annual Houston Auto Show. I'm here with the special media press pass. So we got special access before the general public. It's gonna be an amazing show. It's gonna be here for five days. I'm gonna show you some vehicles that caught my eye. These are my must-see vehicles at the auto show. So bring the family, come on out. It's gonna be a great time. Let's get to it. Okay guys, one of the vehicles on my must-see list at the auto show is the brand new for 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E. This is an electric SUV, five trim levels. There's a base version Mach-E that starts around 40,000. Then there's a GT version around 60,000. The GT version has around 459 horsepower. It goes zero to 60 in three and a half ish seconds. So you're talking about very fast. It has an electric range of around 300 miles. Very nice. Another must-see car at the Houston Auto Show. It's this 2020 Chevrolet C8 Corvette, looking gorgeous in this color spec. 495 horsepower, space priced around 60 grand. It's all about customizing your Corvette to make it your own. The new C8 will give you 12 exterior color options, a lot of different interior options down to the stitching. And yes, you can change your engine coverage, your spoilers, your wheels. Now this one right here has been equipped with the Z51 performance package. And you can tell because we have the spoiler, the calipers, and the front splitter. Now with all that combined along with the dual clutch transmission, that is gonna be a first time ever eight speed automatic transmission, you'll be able to get this beauty to go from zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds. If you're one of the lucky ones who pre-ordered this car months ago and you're just patiently waiting, it's gonna be worth the wait. Look at this, guys. It has the design cues of much more expensive exotic cars at a fraction of the price. You're getting amazing quickness at a car at $60,000. You definitely wanna check this one out. Okay, making my way over to the Land Rover section. Another one of my must-see vehicles at the car show is the Land Rover Defender, brand new for 2020. You see it right over my shoulder there. Beautiful. Let's go take a close look at it. Okay, you may not know it, but the Defender will appear in the next James Bond movie. It has two available engine choices, a turbocharged 2.0 liter four-cylinder making 296 horsepower, that's standard. And then there's a 3.0 liter turbo inline six making 395 horsepower. The zero to 60 for the larger engine is around 5.8 seconds and it weighs around 5,000 pounds. Now you can get this car in either a five, six or seven passenger configuration. As we look on the inside, you can see a nice mix of materials from leather to wood. If you look on the doors, you can see rivets, which I guess reminds you that you're in something, yes, classy, but also that's very rugged and outdoorish. Okay guys, making my way around. This place is so massive. There's just so many vehicles. I just got through looking at the Land Rover Defender back there. That's one of my all time favorites right now. That's definitely a must see here at the car show. Definitely come check that out. Also making a list of another must see car at the auto show is what else but the iconic 2020 Shelby GT500 Mustang. Hey, did you see the movie Ford vs Ferrari? Or maybe you're just a Carroll Shelby fan. Or maybe you just like the way Matt Damon portrayed Carroll Shelby. If you answer yes to any of those, this is the car for you. Guys, from an engine perspective, the car has a 5.2 liter V8, making around 760 horsepower and 625 pound-feet of torque. Now you're asking, what's changed with this version? Well, the GT500 has been absent from the Ford lineup for five years, basically. Five years, but it's back, it's back with a vengeance. The major options are the $18,000 track package and a $10,000 hand-painted racing stripe. Prices start around $73,000 for the car, it can quickly jump up to 97,000 if you go for all those options I just mentioned. Beautiful car. Okay, making our way around the Kia, another must-see vehicle is the Kia Telluride SUV. You may not know 
it, but the Kia Telluride has won lots of awards. Not only did it win the 2020 North American Utility Vehicle of the Year Award, it also won the Motor Trend SUV of the Year Award and the Car and Driver 10 Best Award. That's the first time that one vehicle has won all three awards in a single year. That's a remarkable accomplishment. Telluride comes in four trim levels. The base LX starts at around $31,000. The top of the line SX trim, it starts at around $41,000. Say hi, Mr. Chen. Hey. Mr. Chen. <laughs> yeah, I like the way that they have a sunroof for the back seat. Sunroof for the back. Yeah, it's a big one. Okay, Jiro approves. Mm -hmm. Of course, Jiro is Thailand's biggest car YouTuber. <laughs> Definitely check him out on YouTube. Thank you, thank you. Okay, another must-see vehicle at the Houston Auto Show is the brand new 2020 Porsche Taycan. The Taycan is a brand new model for 2020. It has a fresh new look, but still instantly recognizable as a Porsche. The 4S version as seen here delivers an electric equivalent of 522 horsepower. Retails around $105,000. The top of the line Turbo S model, which retails for around 185,000, has 750 horsepower equivalent and goes zero to 60 in 2.6 seconds. Definitely check this car out, guys. Yeah, so walking around, obviously a lot of press and media folks and big YouTubers, but one of the gurus, Scotty, Scotty Kilmer. Yes, I'm, I'm here making a video about the truth of car shows. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Scotty lives in Houston. He's a fellow Houstonian. Yep. <laughs> What's your favorite car so far you've seen today at the car show? Question. Well, in terms of technology, I'd have to say the Acura NSX, but it doesn't have a price tag on it. Okay. Okay, <laughs> man after my own heart. I own a, a 2017 NSX, so man after my own heart. What'd you pay for that? Woo! <laughs> Free also. I've paid uh, 7500 bucks for every car I've ever owned total. <laughs> and how many subscribers do you have now? Three million. Oh, yeah, but it's the billion <laughs> views that I care about. Three million subscribers, a, almost a billion views. <laughs> okay, Watch guys. Another thing that they have to keep you entertained while you're here at the auto show is the Jeep and Dodge driving experience. They have a test track. You can come on, take a test drive, take these amazing vehicles up on top of inclines and declines. Okay guys, I'm in the Toyota area now. This Camry definitely caught my eye. It is gorgeous. I like the black wing on the back, the black accents. This is a gorgeous car. Let's take a look at the inside. We got the black with the red accents on the seats. Very nice. Okay guys, I moved to the Hyundai section. Another must-see vehicle at the auto show is this gorgeous 2020 Hyundai Sonata right behind me. Look at that grill! The Hyundai Sonata starts at around $23,600, which is very affordable for a spacious sedan. It has three trim levels, a fuel economy rating of 28 city, 38 highway, and as far as performance, the standard engine, which is a 1.6 liter four-cylinder, puts out around 180 horsepower. <laughs> 